In today's video, we put prime Aaron Rodgers back on the Green Bay Packers to see if he can get them over the hump and get a Super Bowl for the franchise. What it do, what's popping? OD back with the franchise videos. As y'all see, we are the Packers right now. Sorry, Jordan Love, I love you, but we're doing a prime Aaron Rodgers video today. A lot of shit's been happening in free agency. So if you take a look here, I got an updated roster with the free agents that are on the team. Josh Jacobs is a Packer. And just happened a few minutes ago, Xavier McKinney is a Packer as well. Now, the roster is not perfect. I just downloaded it. So the free agents that are still free agents and players who are on teams, they got signed by teams. Sorry if your team got a player you don't want. But as you can see here, some different type of moves like running back here. Derrick Henry's on the Bills. We already got the Saquon on the Eagles. We got Autumn, Aaron Jones. It hurts me that the Packers lost Aaron Jones. But he's with the Ravens now. Pollard, as you can see, with the Titans. So all the teams have their players. Or the, uh, the Bears have Marvin Harrison and Malik Neighbors. So there are rookies updated in this class. Take a look at the team. Now, you see we have Christian Watson. We have Jaden Reed, Romeo Dobbs. We have Josh Jacobs, new Josh Jacobs, Aaron Rodgers, prime Aaron Rodgers. This video is about you. Look at the stats. That boy is an absolute stud. 99 overall. He's got all the abilities in the game prime Aaron Rodgers with this version of the team go ahead and take a look at the defense now corners are a little bit of a problem you know what I mean Dyer Stokes Kenny Clark Van Ness still Gary still Xavier McKinney so I just want to do it with the updated rosters I think it'd be fun this is like the first time I've done with the updated rosters and y'all gonna see it with prime Aaron Rodgers so why not type in the comments what y'all think this team is gonna have what record is gonna have with prime Aaron Rodgers you know it'd be a shame if they don't make the playoffs but you know set the season goal always to win a Super Bowl that's what we do around here commit the goal for the year and we got it locked in week one against the bears i'm gonna hop into this week one against the bears game okay week one we're hopping in bears get the ball first and they have marvin harrison and malik neighbors so uh this team is probably gonna be deadly the packers gonna have a tough go we get the ball first and we got to see aaron Rodgers in this team they could be deadly who knows oh and they're moving down the field with josh jacobs and if you don't know josh jacob is a stud in madden sims first glimpse at aaron Rodgers. two minutes left in the first quarter of week one of the season Aaron Rodgers looking pump fake shot to the end zone. we're gonna act like that didn't happen Aaron okay we gotta hop back into it we got you have a stud running back you know what I mean you got a stud running back and my boy Josh Jacobs going crazy gonna get the rock and Josh Jacobs is gonna be down at about the eight come on Aaron you gotta make some right reads looks like it's press man across the board Aaron Rodgers in spread takes the snap he's looking for the end zone he got a quick easy dot to my boy Jaden Reed early 7-0 start for the Packers let's keep it going all right can the Bears respond it looks like they've been having some trouble getting first downs and this Packers defense looking pretty solid and Josh Jacobs is just making his mark on the field all right another big third and five with two minutes left in the first half of week one Aaron Rodgers looking 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 he's got Yo, that's back-to-back -back almost picks this man has thrown. They go up 10-0. It's we gotta lock in here and we get a pick to Jair Alexander. And we're gonna get seven right back to Christian Watson. 17-0 in week one. And this Packers team is looking pretty dominant. I know that it's just the Bears, right? But this Bears team ain't the worst, dog. So I mean, like, we're gonna keep simming through. All right, Packers got it at third and four in the five. See if they can put this game away. It's still zero points from the defense, which uh I don't know if that can keep up all year, but if that can, then we're gonna win the Super Bowl. No doubt. Josh Jacobs catches it fourth and one. And they actually go up 31 to zero. Great performance in week one. Great performance in week one. I'm gonna catch y'all next week. I right, take a look at the stats real quick. Aaron Rodgers with two touchdowns in his opening day. Prime Aaron Rodgers, 20 for 26, 222 yards. Josh Jacobs, 30 attempts, 126 and two. He's kind of crazy. Jaden Reed obviously going crazy in this one as well. I'm, I'm recording this video when all the free agency stuff's going down. So I'm gonna try to get this video out to y'all as quick as possible. Uh, so not too many free agency signings happen, but but we got a week two a game against the Atlanta Falcons who no longer have Desmond Ritter, no longer have Arthur Smith. They got Kirk Cousins up next. So we're going to sim through this game against the Atlanta Falcons. Hopefully we can start the season 2-0 and we do end up getting the dub in week two, 23 to 21. Starting off 2-0 is pretty big time. Got the Saints in week three who are also 2-0. We're going to sim through this game. Hopefully we can pick up another dub and we'll hop into the Lions game in week four. 
for another SimCast game. First loss of the season comes by three to this New Orleans Saints. And Derek Carr lights up our defense, two touchdowns. That's what's a little concerning. But as you can see, Josh Jacobs is running his, he's like making his mark on this on this team, man. Uh, Josh Jacobs is obviously a stud in Madden and he's going crazy. So Derek Carr actually lights us up though. I'm gonna need to get a bounce back game here to go three and one because the Lions are running the division right now. All right, Lions get the ball first to start off the game. I need our defense to kind of lock in here. As the Lions are marching down our way, we hold them to three. Josh Jacobs might be proving that he is too much of a dog. They do hold us to three, three to three. All right, first and goal from the five, A-Rod with spread. I'm gonna need seven here, bro. I'm gonna need you to get seven right here for me, bro. Aaron Rodgers gives the ball to Josh Jacobs and he's gonna break off one, go down at about the one yard line. All right, man, I don't like gun here, bro. Just pound it into Josh Jacobs, pound it, bro. Just go him to bring him to pound town, bro. Rodgers takes the snap, the give is to Josh Jacobs and he's gonna take him right to pound town, running over that man. Number, who is that, bro? I don't even know. Simmons? All right, big time score we got right there for the pack, man. I'm gonna need to go get another stop right here. Prime Aaron Rodgers so far, so. Okay, so I, I could see our defense might, might start struggling against some of these higher powered offenses. And we go down 17 to 10 right before halftime. And we got second and five from the nine against this Lions team, who is a high powered offense. I'm gonna need you to respond. Rodgers takes the snap, the give us to Jacobs. And they've just been relying on Josh Jacobs, who is an absolute stud. Give it back. Rodgers gonna take the snap and miss him badly, bro. What are we doing? Yo, Rodgers, we ain't doing this today, bro, in this season, bro. We're not missing wide open slants. We're going for it on fourth and inches. Can we please get it? Josh Jacobs up the gut. He's going to get the first down. Thank God, bro. Can't believe Rodgers missed that throw, bro. That was an easy, simple slant to get a touchdown. But we still got it, man. First and goal on the three. Give it back to Josh Jacobs. And we're going to give the fullback a dive. And we get nothing out of that. Dog, can we just punch the ball in? It's like a one and a half yard line, bro. The same formation, three plays in a row. I don't mind it, bro. Just keep giving it to Josh Jacobs. Another fullback dive that gets stopped. What are we doing, LaFleur? <laughs> and we're going for it again on fourth and goal. We call fullback dive again. I'm ending the video. Josh Jacobs right at the gut. Touchdown. Thank you, Josh Jacobs. That's his second of the game. Let's go. If we keep churning this clock, we will win the game. And Aaron Rodgers is moving this rock down to the two minute and we're going to win. Third and four, first and 10, GG, get him out of here. And Aaron Rodgers, bro, it's the Josh Jacobs show. He doesn't throw a touchdown. He got another 100 yard game for two touchdowns. All right, we're gonna sim this week five against the Raiders on our week six bye. So the next time you'll see me is week seven. Okay, I did wanna check in. We did get the win 35 to 21 against the Raiders and Aaron Rodgers, there he goes with his first weekly award of the video. We'll take that all day. All right, y'all, you see we are four and one on the year. We got a tandem breakout on defense all right we're in week seven so far and rogers only throws eight touchdowns eight touchdowns one interception is pretty solid but it's really got to be josh jacobs who already got damn near 600 yards and seven touchdowns for that man and then defensively kenny with two and a half carl brooks with two gary only has one Jair with two picks mckinney all right y'all week seven against denver we're gonna sim this through hopefully we can pick up another dub we got the Vikings next week, who are also four and two. So, okay, another big time dub. And look to the left of the screen. We got breakout D line and breakout wide receiver. Let's see who it is. Devontae Wyatt to go to a star dev. That'd be pretty solid to get Devontae Wyatt there. And then we got a breakout wide receiver. Please be somebody who's already started to go to superstar. And it's going to be Jaden Reed to go to superstar. That would be big time if we get a superstar wide receiver on this team for this year. We're going to sim through this game once again. Hopefully we can go to six and one on the year. As we get a massive, 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 massive win over the Vikings. And we get Devontae Wyatt. X Factor. X Factor. I wish. Breakout game to go to star dev. I'll take that. And then 42 points is enough points for Jaden Reed. Let's see if we get it. Ah. Jaden Reed doesn't get it done, which is unfortunate. So I wonder who scored all those points for us. 43 points must have been Josh Jacobs. Weekly award, you see we got Aaron Rodgers. There was five passing touchdowns and we couldn't get Jaden Reed. Damn, that's tough. Hey, take a look at the stats from that big time game. Rodgers throws five. Dan Jones is on the Vikings. That is not who y'all want at QB for the Vikings if I'm a Vikings fan. Josh Jacobs, no touchdowns. Bad game from Josh Jacobs. Jaden Reed got one uh romeo dobbs had three touchdowns and musgrave had two that's big time we're looking at what six and one seven and one right now we're looking at six and one against a pretty good rams team who's also six and two we're going to sim through this game and hopefully we can hang with one of the bigger teams better teams in the league we've only been beating up on shit teams so far and that shows me with a three-point win against the rams that we're looking pretty solid as we get a tandem breakout game 0-8 pittsburgh game this seems like a trap game for me this seems like a game that the packers could lose because I just know how Madden be hoeing me. I'd be so unlucky with this. 
But we're 7 1 going up against this 0 8 trash team. I'm simming through, and y'all gonna watch it with me. Y'all gonna see the L pop up on my screen right up there, and I guarantee it's gonna happen. It happens all the time. Never mind. 38 to 10, monster blowout. We're going to 8 in one as Aaron Rodgers has another weekly award as he is going crazy. All right, five and four Chargers. Should be an easy game we breeze through, but they still got talent on the team. So I ain't going to just chalk it up. Let's sim through it, see if we can get the dub. Okay, unfortunate 37 point on our defense as we get a loss to a five and four team. That was a team where I felt like we would lose to, but we do have a Rashawn Gary breakout to X Factor the game. And that's interesting because they dropped 37 on our heads. Not surprised, not expected to see an X Factor game right after that. Expect I'm actually surprised the Lions aren't as good as they are. Like they're only four and six, but again, feels like a team we could lose to and huh? when that has to be the weirdest score in nfl history six to three okay so rashawn gary had a breakout game we held him to three points and he didn't get it what what is going on in this madden sim i'll take the win regardless but we got a chiefs game that we're gonna hop into because we gotta see if we really can compete with the top quarterbacks or the top teams in the league all right y'all see how we can compete against the kansas city chiefs they get the ball first and if there's a team that's gonna expose our defense it's gonna be this team right here yeah first and go from the one yeah, this team is pretty deadly. I'm not gonna lie. Mahomes with the toss to Pacheco. Can somebody get out there? Kenny Clark? No, too easy for them. They strike first. We gotta respond. All right, Rogers. I need you to bounce back against this big time Chiefs team, bro. Can you show me that we can beat a top team in the league? We get a lucky ass penalty to get a first down on fourth down. As we respond, Aaron Rodgers to Luke Musgrave, 7-7. A little bit too easy for the Chiefs as they're damn near walking down the field. We do home to three though, which is good. And Rodgers throws a pick to Legereus Sneed. That's tough, man. We need a good response. We need a touchdown right here coming out of half. It's a whole lot of Josh Jacobs. Second and four from the five. I need a touchdown right here. Rodgers is looking and he's got Jaden Reed open. Touchdown. That's big time. We have a good stop right now. Come on. <sighs> and we just can't stop this team. Is they're going to score again? It looks like we're going to come out of this game with an L unless we can score really quickly. Fourth and 10 for the game. And we can't get that sacked. So that's going to be a loss for us, unfortunately. First and 10, second and goal, third and goal, fourth and goal from the one. Rodgers takes the snap. Looking, looking, looking. Nothing. He's got nothing, man. Rodgers is going to make a play incomplete that's the game all right week 14 against the giants hopefully we can get a nice little bounce back win here we're out we are nine and three so i'm very happy with our record we're gonna win the division most likely let's go to 10 wins out of this game against the giants all right good win to get back on track take a look at a uh, playoff picture real quick all right so you see it uh of course you, you already know you watch my videos y'all know the cowboys are so cheesy in this sim if y'all do your sims yourself y'all know how cheesy the cowboys are we're the three c right now I'd like to get the first seed. We'll check out what the Cowboys record is to see if we can catch them. Uh, you see the uh, AFC over on the left side. Uh, take a look at the standings real quick. The Cowboys only have two losses. They're 11 and two. They are catchable. We just got to pretty much win out, if I had to guess. We got Tampa Bay, who's seven and six right now. Pretty much got to win out. Okay, another dub against the Bucks is that's huge for us. I'll take that all day. And then we got a Week 16 game against the Panthers. Luckily, we have some pretty bad teams to close it out. And so far, so good. We're doing our jobs. 28 to 10 against the Panthers. And the Cowboys are 13 and 2. So hey, they haven't lost yet either. Another big time win. So, I mean, we're putting shit together right before the playoffs. 42 points on the Vikings head. Pretty solid. Keep checking the Cowboys record. They're 14 and 2. So unless they, I mean, I don't even know. We would have to win and they would have to lose. And then it'd be a tiebreaker. Let's sim it against the Bears. Who do they play? They're playing the commanders. They're not going to lose, bro. And we actually do end up losing to the Bears in the last week of the year. We get the Bucks in the first round of the playoffs, so hopefully we don't get upset. All right, stats on the year. Rodgers, 36-5, 3,700 yards. Really good season from Aaron Rodgers. Why did Sean Clifford through play? Josh Jacobs, 1,700 yards, 12 touchdowns. Rodgers rushes for three, and then Eric Emmanuel Wilson gets six um, touchdowns as well. Receiving-wise, Rome gets there with 1,000. Same as Jaden Reed. 11 touchdowns for Rome, seven for Reed, seven for Christian Watson, nine for Musgrave. Defensively, we got Gary with nine, seven. Preston Smith with seven, Clark with seven, Devontae Wyatt with six and a half, Carl Brooks with five. Interceptions wise, Jair Lettuce with five, Stokes with three, Quay with one, and Xavier McKinney with one. Take a look around the league for stats real quick. Passing stats around the league, Dak obviously leads you in yards, 4,700. Touchdown leaders was Joe Burrow with 41 touchdowns. He went crazy. He might win MVP. Any other crazy years? Kirk Cousins has a really solid year with the uh, Falcons. And y'all can pause it. I'm going to go through these. Y'all can pause it if y'all want to see the stats of your favorite team's quarterback. Bailey Zappi going crazy. What is going on? Rushing. McCaffrey leads it with uh, 24. I'm going to go through these. You can stop it at any point to see what player, what team y'all did. Take a look here. Receiving wise is CD Lamb leads it. Again, you can stop it at any time. Let's hop into the playoffs. 
take a look at the playoff bracket real quick all right so the bills get the first round by over on the afc side cowboys obviously get the first round by way the three seed playing the bucks madden sims be hoeing anything's possible in these games let's hop into it they're nine and eight they had a positive record so let's see what happens huh. the bucks get the ball first and we get a three and out to start the game fourth in inches we get him to stop again. We got to get some points rolling on the field. Got to be a heavy Josh Jacobs game. Got to be heavy Josh Jacobs and Rodgers can clean up around the edges. Third, fourth and in inches. We go for it. I like that. All right, big time third and 10. 0-0 zero, zero game in the second quarter with only three minutes to go. Aaron Rodgers looking. He's got a tight set. Rodgers takes the snap. He's looking. He's got to get a big time stop right here. Dot, Jaden Reed down to the two. Need seven right here. Got to be a Josh Jacobs. Toss to Jacobs. He's going to get the outside and he's going to go down at the one. A second and goal. Rodgers going to pass this an easy dot to Dontavion Wicks. Easy touchdown 7-0 as it should be. As they just absolutely march down the field in four plays. Rashad White touchdown. We have to punt right back to him. It's anybody's game and we got to punt to start the game and there is no way we end up losing right in the wild card right we can't get a first down bro we're keeping them in the game way too long as they're gonna go and score we're not 13 and 4 for no reason right roger you're down by seven with five minutes to go in the game you think we could actually put something together here and go win the game fourth and five this is pretty much the game in the wild card round already Aaron Rodgers in tight formation. If we don't get this, I'm going to be pissed, bro. 14 and 3 for what? 14 and 3 for what? Dot to Luke Musgrave down at the three. That's what I like to see, Aaron. Come on, we lock in, bro. Even if we score, though, I feel like it's giving them so much time, bro. Rodgers with a toss in Vita Vea. Oh my God, get off of me, Vita Vea. Josh Jacobs, touchdown. Third and 18, third and 18. We're going to get the ball back. Aaron Rodgers is going to get the ball back. You okay, bro. Like, are we f serious and it's a bad punt oh my god they're gonna win bro i swear to god they're gonna win they only have 50 seconds left if they get like 15 yards we're gonna lose in the aaron Rodgers curse of not being able to win playoff games oh my god he's wide open oh my god bunch to the right oh my god rogers this cannot happen bro it is a it, it is a playoff curse with you why would i even think about doing this video i know how you always lose in the playoffs i've been a packer for how long thank god baker sucks oh my god bro i'm really stressed out bunch to the left please man aaron Rodgers. no way you lose to an 8 9 and 18 in the wild card round blow please bro please bro please 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 baker looking baker looking come on and that's the game we lost <laughs> LaFleur is trying to ice him. This is for the game. And leave it up to prom Aaron Rodgers to choke to a six seed who is nine and eight after going 14 and three on the year or 13 and four on the year. The kick is up and it is good. And we will lose to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers once again in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers' playoff curse continues. All right. Well, Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Well, this was a fun video, guys. If y'all enjoyed this video, type down in the comments below who you want me to see put another prime quarterback in the league. Rodgers going to sling it. Not enough time, bro. All right, let's send to the Super Bowl and at least show y'all who won the Super Bowl in this sim with this new roster. Because I'm kind of, you know, I'm curious, though, to see who will win in this new updated roster with these new players on the new teams. And your Super Bowl is, what a surprise, Chiefs versus Cowboys. And the Chiefs are your champions. Patrick Mahomes is your finals MVP, Super Bowl MVP. You see it right there. Joe Burrow wins. MVP, McCarthy, Coach of the Year, McCaffrey, Player of the Year, Micah, Jordan Addison, Byron Young. If you want to see a player from their prom come into the league right now, tell me in the comments who you want that to be, and I'll do it. I love taking video ideas from y'all. Turn them post notifications on so you know every time I post a video. We make these videos all the time. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace out.